Good evening everyone, it's Ben from BRT Solutions on this very hot, sticky Monday evening. It's been a hot day, a lot's been going on in the business. Went to an excellent ABC breakfast this morning and saw a great motivational speaker, Adam Strong, and learnt a lot about how to run my business and how to make my business progress. So everything we can learn and how things we can learn, how we can change things in our business. What I'm going through tonight is how things have changed over the last couple of years. Um, at the moment, these things, the uh, Lynx tablet, are the most sort of popular thing going on at the moment. And as I said, I'll be doing the draw in the next two days to, for, the, for the winner of this. So the Lynx tablet, still one of my most favourite um, entry level tablets and brilliant at um, doing exactly that. So it's the same with your full size keyboard, your USB ports here, and your lovely touch screen movable devices. But this thing can do a lot of things that the other device I'm gonna show you in a minute, the Philips Prevent did back in the early 2000s. You're talking about 2005. This device I'm going to show you when before the days of SkyQ, before the days of um, the TiVo box with Virgin, <coughs> Philips developed a entertainment micro PC which you could watch TV off of as well as stream films with running Windows Vista. Vista was a terrible operating system, but back then. When it had the Windows um, Vista Media Center in it, you could stream TV to your your computer and watch it through an aerial or a satellite dish. And this is what this computer had. So if I show you here, here it is. This is the Philips Prevent Entertainment PC. Quite small and it's quite micro. It looks like a little set top box, that's what I like about it. It still works and it's got a, a DVD ROM, twin USBs, and what makes it most interesting is the rear of the machine. It's actually got a laptop motherboard inside it. And at the back of the machine, what I like the most of it, it's got a satellite input. So you can plug a satellite dish or a Virgin set top box to it and preview the channels on this device. And this is back in 2005 when this unit was, 2005, 2006 this unit was made. And it's got the old, um, the, the optical out, the S video, so you can streamline all the S video devices. It's got loads of little things on it, all the little inputs on it for putting multiple video ports on here. This computer was quite expensive when it's got a little thing for the audio for like the CD mini displayer input there. So this computer even back in its day, this is about a six, seven hundred pound computer with its Pentium dual core two gig of RAM processor. But back in the day, this was quite an expensive computer. It had a DVI port, what was classed as digital back then. So you think, and in the next video, I'll get this up and running and show you how this thing used to do what a modern set-top box does today. So it's quite interesting seeing old technology like that. And you're thinking back in 2006, 2007 when that was built, that that is what people wanted to buy because they wanted to be able to watch their films and stream things like it. But now these days people use little tiny Kodi boxes um, like the um, and like the Lynx tablet you can watch films and stuff stream stuff onto that as well as the Amazon Fire Stick, the Google Chromecast, that kind of thing. You can watch all of it on them. But back in the day when the Philips was made and other computers like it, like the Packard Bell we used to have an all in one monitor. And it had um, like S video and uh, ports like that on the back DVI, and you could watch um, 
plug your set top box in it back then but back in the day that was the thing but now you can watch um, all your stuff on all multiple things even on your iphone and all that as well as stream it as well as with um sky go and sky q what's excellent and i will review that in a later video on how you can stream things to sky q um through the wireless so it's really good it's a good bit of kit so it's only a quick video tonight remember keep safe make sure you've got your antivirus software enabled if you're going to watch stuff through Kodi and other platforms, this is a tip for video watchers. Make sure you've got a good antivirus software installed. If you're going to watch Kodi, make sure that you've got it from a reliable source. Normally better to download Kodi onto a laptop or a desktop computer because it's more safer, because it's more protected than an Android device. So it's a quick tip today. and Make sure that you keep your antivirus software up to date when watching videos online. So it's Ben from BOIT Solutions, signing out for now, and I'll speak to you at the next video. Goodbye.